And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Jim Miller! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bobby King Green! You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that in all the Might UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon with one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight and get to make your mark on this great arena. Straight punch there. Fighter lands a right punch. There's that body shot. And another hook landed there by Miller. Nice body kick there. Oh, what a shot right from the inside. He's hurt now. He turned his entire body and it landed exactly as he was hoping. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the settings have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike, and the opponent hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see him. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He great time on that double leg. He passes to half guard. Oh, and transitions right into side control. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. He's got the Kimura locked in now, but he's got to be patient. He's got to step over the head with the knee. And then win. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Miller's in half guard. Beautiful transition. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. This is a terrible position. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How do you take it? Just over two minutes to go. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. <laughs> Miller range down. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get. <laughs> Absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Miller's in half court. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to... He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. All right, opens the guard, now stacked guard. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. 
He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. Oh, he's got a get to here. Oh, that Gilly is tight. He's really working hard for this guillotine, but he can't blow out his arms. He's got to make sure it's secure if he's going to go 100% to try to get this finish. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Green grounded pound from half guard now. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. Still wobbling. This round, I'm to put the pressure on. Get right in his face. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. TC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, He's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? No, I'm sure you. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, that jab alert. Oh, connection there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Getting the out here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Good work from the top here by Miller. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. Well, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep baiting on little punches with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. High-level guard pass there as he moves into half guard. You know the guy's going to his left. Green's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, great submission defense. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to the corner's neck to try to choke him out and finish the fight. Miller's in half goal. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Now he's got good body position, yup. Posture's up now and lands. Oh, 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 oh my god. Can you believe it? What a fight! What a fight! Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 12 seconds of round number two. We claim the winner by TKO, Jim Miller!